Thanks, Kevin, the same question, but with Deshaun Hall, what are you seeing with him week to week in terms of his development? Do you think he might become a guy who could help you with your need for a pass rush? Oh, I don't think there's any question. I mean, he, that's going to be Deshaun's role is third and long. Um, you know, uh, we had to throw him in a little bit there Saturday. Uh, that's really not his forte. Uh, we got hurt a couple times with him in, you know, against a very good left tackle. Um, he got introduced to big-time SEC football, unfortunately. Who are the back seated, Cal? Coach, Coach, someone talked about the experience now that the guys are getting after being in a couple games and some of them only being in their first game. How much of what we saw against Alabama was mental mistakes and how much are just physical and ready or not ready to play? Against? A little bit of both. I mean, there were some mental mistakes and some physical mistakes. I mean, they're a very good offense. Um, you know, and like Coach someone just said, um, the, the, the things that, that need to get fixed need to get fixed. Um, the good thing is they're all fixable. And uh, we addressed that yesterday. Um, you know, we're kind of back into our, our comfort zone now again, playing another spread team. Um, so you saw the comfort level there yesterday. But we definitely got to clean some things up because coming down the pike here, uh, we're going to see it again for sure. Our left seated Sam. Mark, uh, what were just some of the biggest concerns after looking at the film that, that you feel you guys got to address moving forward? Well, I mean, just guys playing together. Um, you know, Alabama did a great job uh, of scheming us a little bit. You know, we had a young linebacker in there making his first start. And, and like I said, after the game, they come out and some unbalanced on us. Uh, we were not prepared for that. Uh, I had to make that adjustment. Um, um, you know, uh, Devontae getting in there for the first time, having really, you know, bad eyes. And we talked about it all week on the flea flicker. Um, again, something you've never seen a coach saving team do. Uh, in the past, um, uh, and, and that's good coaching. Um, you know, this week we have a challenge because we're going against another senior veteran quarterback with a bye week. <laughs> um, it's just the way it's falling into place right now. Um, so we'll have our hands full uh, coming up this week as well. Over here on the right side, Al. Tony heard it said the defense's confidence level wasn't at an all-time high right now. Did you get a sense of that kind of on Saturday? You, you know, uh, I think Coach Summon did a great job with that. Um, yeah, we were rattled a little bit. There's no doubt we were rattled. You know, I mean, they were doing some good stuff. Um, but I thought yesterday Coach Sumlin handled that elegant, uh, elegantly, uh, if you will. Um, and again, we went out to practice and got back into our groove because we were going to pr face a spread team. And, um, um, you know, that's something we've practiced against all spring and all fall. So, go over here to Gabe on the right side. You know, Claiborne put up huge numbers in that first game. Not necessarily, you, you know, whether or not he played well, but his numbers were great. But he hadn't played much in the last two games. What's what are you seeing from Darian Claiborne? Um, uh, Darian's a guy that we got to get on the field without a doubt. So, he is a good football player. We'll go over here to Sam and then over to. Susan. I know you guys have played a lot of young defensive tackles. How would you assess some of their play? And also, is Justin Manning in a place where he can contribute? Yet? Well, it's just a learning curve. Uh, um, you know, there's 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 some growing pains with it. Um, you know, I can't get into a bunch of X's and those, but just to say that there's some growing pains. I mean, they're trying to do their best. They're trying to be crafty veterans, and they're not, you know, yet. Um, there was an instant Saturday where Hardrick was in there, and, and – we're already a little bit shy in the run game versus a certain set they gave us. And he did a move that, that, that is a good move, just not in that situation. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. Those are the learning lessons that it's all correctable. You know, hey, this, this is a liability. When we're in this front and they're in this set, that we're, we're liable over here already. You can't be moving that way when we're already liable that way. You know, those kind of lessons what, is what we're talking about. That can be fixed. He'll get it now. And, and we need to get it because, again, we're going to see it again. Who's this? Uh, we'll see. Right now, the plan is no. Right now, but we're preparing him if we need him. But right now, no. Got Suzanne here in the middle. Hey, Mark, that's rush. Y'all have had three sacks and three quarterback hurries in three games. Right. I'm assuming that's not what you want. Well, I mean, it's kind of what we've, <laughs> you know, you go against a very veteran team in Rice, you know, senior quarterback, you go basically against an option team, that Sam Houston State, you know, uh, you got to have your option responsibilities. Pass rush is not, you know, part of what you do in that game. And then you go play the number one team in the country who's got, you know, a couple of really good tackles. Um, um, so, you know, it's a little bit of what comes down, you know, how, how the schedule's laid out for us. Um, but, yes, to answer your question, do I need to see that improve? 
as we move forward, yes. Who among your young guys, who are your best pass rushers? Well, Deshaun's a really good pass rusher, you know. Um, um, you know, the, the Taylor Twins give you some juice if you get them to third and long, and that's the problem Saturday. We couldn't get out of bounds but the third and long. They, they controlled the chains. I mean, I think we only had three, three, I mean, six third downs the whole game, you know. Um, and they were having the same problem with us. They did a great job of managing the game and not getting into third down situations, both offenses. Um, and that was kind of the tell of that game, you know, to get those speed people on the field and take advantage of what we recruited. Mm-hmm. We go to John staying in the back. Coach, how valuable is Saturday's game video for you as a teaching tool? Oh, it's immeasurable. Uh, there was a lot of great teaching yesterday, a lot of great teaching. And, uh, you know, the thing is our kids care. I mean, there's a lot of hurt kids in that locker room now. I mean, they care. They're going to get, you know, they'll get it right. I ain't worried about that. Um, I thought they played their tails off, you know. And, and, and like I told them, hey, look, on the, you know, there were, there were some bright spots. I mean, we started fast which is what we wanted to do, get the crowd into it, you know. We had a goal line stand. In my career, that's always been huge early in the season. you got to have a goal line stand because it will pay dividends down the road because there's going to be another game where it comes down to us in the red zone <laughs> and having to come up with a goal line stand. So to have one of those, that was a positive. And I thought they played extremely hard, um, just not extremely smart all the time. Got time for a couple more. Start with KO in the back. Coach, you've talked about the learning experience for your team. Mm-hmm. How much of this, and I don't give away the X's and O's, obviously, but how much now have you been able to install of your entire defense? Uh, it's in. We got it in. Especially with these guys back now, I mean, it's in. So it's a matter of uh, greasing it up. Go to the front here, Brent. With, with the Ravens collarbone injury, how hamstrung do you feel at that position? I mean, you're already thin back there. Well, yeah, we're just thin, you know. I mean, it is what it is. We got to stay healthy, and we got to keep dual repping DeShazer a little bit, you know. I thought uh, DeShazer showed flashes when he was at safety Saturday. Uh, on a couple of those runs. It was a blur come out. And uh, so until we get Floyd back, a little bit like last year, we're going to have a three-man rotation in there and uh, play seven out of corner and get DeSager in some. I will see what the matchups are. You know, it was hard to put DeSager in there Saturday because we had him on nine, you know, and and, and he did a good job on him, you know. Uh, So we'll see how the ebb and flow of the game goes. Make that decision, you know, by series. All right. Thanks, Coach Schneider. All right. Thank you.